Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of our tutorial. In this video I will show you how to update a shopping list. If you remember from our introduction video, to actually edit a shopping list we need to long press on the shopping list name. And to achieve this let's open our view holder class and set on long click listener on our item view. and return true. Inside the onLongClick method, let's add an alert dialer. But to save some time, let's copy the alert dialog from our main activity and paste it over here. Let's do some changes. Let's use our context object in both definitions. Now let's change this with edit shopping list name and now let's set the edit text to hold the actual shopping list name and for that we can call set text and pass our shopping list name as an argument. Let's also set the cursor to the end of our edit text and call set selection and pass our edit text get text and call now length. Now let's remove this method call and change this name to new shopping list name. Now let's get our Firebase Firestore object and name it as usual rootref which is equal to Firebase Firestore get instance. Now let's create also a map string and object and call it simply map which is equal to new hash map. Now let's put the new shopping list name into our map. Map put shopping list name and pass the new shopping list name as the second argument. In order to make the actual update into the database, we need to have two more variables, the shopping list ID and the user email. Let's get them. String shopping list ID equals shopping list model get shopping list ID. To get the user email, we need to go to our main activity and pass the user email as an argument to our set shopping list method. So we need to add user email and add also string user email. Now Let's use both variable to make our update. Rootref collection shopping list. Now we can call document and pass our user email as an argument. Let's call again collection and pass user shopping list. Let's call again document and pass our shopping list ID and in the end just simply call update and pass our map object. In order to make it work there is one more thing that we need to do. We need to change the context that we are passing to the set shopping list method when we are calling on our holder. So let's remove this method call and replace it with a context. Let's create this variable as global private context and initialize it in our own create which is equal to this. Now let's see if it works in our emulator. Before testing let's do a little change. Let's replace this with update and let's replace this with the lambda expression. I have my emulator running 
and let's change this with let's say new grocery and hit update and it worked that's it with this video hope you guys enjoy it and see you in the next video when you'll start working with products